The film kicks off instantly with a thrilling scene. A red vehicle halts on the road before a bank. Three adept thieves, Buddy, Darling, and Griff, exit the vehicle and dash into the bank. The escape driver, a young man known as Baby, remains in the red vehicle while the thieves execute their heist inside the bank. It's important to note that Baby is a music aficionado. He enjoys the tune Bell Bottoms and is visibly joyful. Shortly after, the thieves make their way back to the vehicle, and Baby performs his role. He whisks them off, enjoying the tune through his loud headphones. He maneuvers through the city, eluding the cops who are in hot pursuit from every direction. Baby's exceptional driving prowess is evident as he skillfully dodges numerous hindrances. Before long, a police chopper joins the pursuit, and Baby encounters two similar red cars. The trio slip under an overpass, and Baby outsmarts the cops by swapping spots with another vehicle. Baby successfully flees, enters a car park, changes vehicles, and makes his getaway. Subsequently, Baby picks up coffee for the crew while grooving to Harlem Shuffle. He grabs the coffee and proceeds to a building where the heist team and their boss, Doc, await. Doc divides the loot while Griff inquires about Baby's constant music listening. Griff attempts to bully Baby, but Baby disregards him. In the end, they each collect their cut and depart. Doc retains a large portion of Baby's earnings to settle his debt. He hands him $10,000, a pair of gloves, and a fresh burner phone, promising to contact him soon for another heist. Baby returns to his home, shared with his foster guardian, Joseph. Baby conceals his portion of the loot beneath the floorboards. Joseph advises Baby to steer clear of dubious activities because it isn't rightfully his. Later, Baby remixes the audio from his meetings with Doc and the other thieves into a track. He possesses a cassette tape filled with these remixed voices. Amidst these is a tape marked Mom. Each playback brings back cherished memories of Mom, whose frequent disputes with his father ended tragically in a vehicular mishap during an argument. After some time, Baby visits a diner and encounters an enchanting waitress named Deborah. She passes by, singing melodically, and Baby captures her tune on his recorder. Deborah returns to take his order and notices the recording. They converse, and Baby inquires about the song she hums. He later locates the precise track at a record shop. One day, Baby receives a call from Doc with a new job offer. Baby meets his employer, who introduces him to his latest crew, Eddie Nonos, JD, and Bats. The crew is curious about Baby's incessant music listening. Doc reveals it's due to a childhood mishap that left Baby with tinnitus, and he uses tunes to mask the ringing. This heist is Baby's final task for Doc, to clear his debt. Doc outlines the operation while Baby listens to another melody. Bats doubts Baby's attentiveness, but when Doc quizzes him, Baby responds accurately. The following day, the team reaches their target and spots the armored truck. Baby stays in the car, tuned into a track, while the rest attempt the heist. Bats ends the life of the guard. Then they return to the vehicle. Baby flees, yet during the escape, a Marine pursues them in his own vehicle. Bats aims to eliminate the Marine, but Marine intervenes. In a tense moment, as Bats is poised to fire at the Marine, Baby recoils thwarting the potential killing. Baby navigates the freeway rails, shaking off the troubling Marine. Trapped in a jam, the group ditches the vehicle and commandeers another from a mother with her child. JD admits to misplacing his weapon, but there's no turning back. Baby takes the crew to a parking lot, where they switch vehicles once more. Bats is upset, accusing Baby of deliberately causing him to miss his shot at the Marine, which Baby denies. They then reconvene with Doc to divide the loot, to Baby's surprise, only Bats and Eddie are present. Doc hands Baby his cut and instructs him to dispose of JD's corpse, found in the trunk. Since JD's firearm would lead the police straight to him, Baby hauls the car to a scrapyard to destroy it, triggering memories of his childhood. At the familiar diner where Deborah works, they exchange song trivia, and she's astonished to learn his name is truly Baby. They depart for a laundromat, delving deeper into personal stories, and Baby confides about his auditory issues stemming from the accident that killed his parents. Heeding Joseph's counsel, Baby secures a legitimate job delivering pizzas 
and spends increasing time with Deborah. During a dinner outing at a luxurious eatery, Baby encounters Doc, who coerces him into further criminal endeavors, threatening harm to Deborah and Joseph should he decline. The following day, Doc dispatches Baby to scout a post office for their next heist, suggesting he bring along his grandson Sam to avoid suspicion. Inside the post office, Baby surveys the premises for security features, while Sam astonishingly recounts the number of cameras, windows, and staff present. They engage in a conversation with a friendly cashier before reporting back to Doc. Baby later phones Deborah and asks her to run away with him. At the meeting with Doc to strategize the upcoming robbery, Baby is surprised to find Buddy, Darling, and Bats there, breaking Doc's rule against repeating crews. Doc details the post office scheme and directs them to procure arms from the butcher, an arms dealer. En route to the arms deal, Bats insists on a detour to a store. During the pause, Darling confides to Buddy about Bats' unsettling gaze, prompting Buddy to offer elimination, which she declines until after the heist. At the warehouse, the butcher presents an arsenal, but Bats abruptly kills him, sparking a shootout. Darling is wounded and Bats goes berserk. They flee the scene with Bats detonating a grenade in a car, annihilating the site. Bats justifies the carnage, claiming they were undercover officers. On the return trip, Bats demands a stop at the diner where Deborah is working. Aware of her presence, Baby resists, but Bats forces the issue. Inside, Deborah discreetly serves them, concealing her acquaintance with Baby. When Bats brandishes a weapon to dodge the bill, Baby intervenes and the group departs without further incident. Baby leaves a note for Deborah. Road trip at 2 a.m. Back with Doc, the group learns their mission is compromised. Bats claims self-defense against undercover cops, supported by Buddy and Darling, while Baby remains skeptical. Doc anticipates a full-scale police crackdown within a day and considers aborting the heist, but the trio opts to proceed regardless. Baby suggests resting before the morning job. That night, Baby attempts a clandestine departure to rendezvous with Deborah, but is intercepted by Buddy and Bats, who grow suspicious. Bats discovers Baby's recorder and renders him unconscious. Awakening at Doc's, Baby plays off the recordings as harmless mixes. Meanwhile, Deborah awaits him at the diner. Come morning, the crew sets out for the heist. Buddy fakes taking Darling hostage, while Bats infiltrates. Baby, stationed in the car, signals the cashier from the post office to stay clear. She retreats with a guard, who then approaches Baby's vehicle. The gang returns, and Bats fatally shoots the guard. In a fit of rage, Baby accelerates towards a truck with protruding rods, impaling Bats. The police arrive, prompting a frantic escape. Buddy and Darling engage the officers as Baby flees on foot, weaving through a mall to alter his appearance. Despite being spotted, he manages to steal a car and rejoins the pursuit of Buddy and Darling. In the ensuing chaos, Darling falls to police gunfire, and Baby commandeers a car from an elderly woman. He tunes into a song on the radio and courteously returns her purse before speeding off. Baby hastens back to his residence, discovering chaos and Joseph prostrate on the ground. He rings Deborah at the diner, but her employer intercepts, hinting Baby's impending arrival. Seizing all his hidden savings and escorting Joseph to a care facility, he expresses regret to his foster parent for letting him down and departs amidst an ongoing police manhunt. Baby beelines for the diner to fetch Deborah and encounters Buddy inside, seeking vengeance for Darling's demise and menacing Deborah's life. A cop's sudden entry into the diner diverts Buddy, enabling Baby to seize the moment and shoot him. Confronted by the officer, Buddy callously fires. Baby, from a public telephone, contacts Doc, who severs ties. The duo commandeers a vehicle from a pair of young fellas proceeding to Doc's hideout. Baby bargains with Doc for his recordings in exchange for the money stolen from the post office. Doc, initially resistant, but after seeing that, he's with Deborah and, and agrees to give him the tapes and some getaway cash. Exiting the elevator, they're ambushed by the butcher's henchman, whom Doc neutralizes before succumbing to a gunshot. Buddy, commandeering a police car, runs Doc over. He then pursues Baby, who retaliates with gunfire and evades. Baby and Deborah dive into Doc's car, initiating a chase with Buddy. 
In a swift maneuver, Baby sends Buddy's vehicle careening off the railing. Inspecting for signs of life, Baby is ambushed by an armed Buddy, who discharges his weapon near Baby's ear, impairing his hearing. Deborah intervenes, allowing Baby to incapacitate Buddy, who meets his end atop the wrecked car. Come dawn, Deborah and Baby embark on a journey, only to be halted by a police roadblock. Deborah contemplates evasion, but Baby opts for surrender, sealing their parting with a kiss before yielding to law enforcement. In court, Baby faces judgment for his crimes. The post office cashier and the woman whose car he appropriated vouch for his character, portraying him as harmless. The magistrate imposes a sentence of 25 years with a chance for parole after five. Incarcerated, Baby cherishes letters from Deborah, detailing future escapades. Five years later, Baby gains his freedom, reuniting with Deborah. Subscribe for more videos like this and turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.